Look at your son. He's not impressed. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reaction to I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows him. Instagram. And Twitter. And Twitter. For more. The content is freaking juicy. It's so hey, we're so juicy. Patreon, fellow, official Twitter account, ring the bell, leave a notification, squawk. Back! Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. Great. Uh, today we were reacting to a thing. It's called Five Things Ranveer Singh and Topeka Told Us About Each Other. So I think this is a little... Uh, secret. Yeah, a little secret. 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 Uh, our favorite Bollywood couple. We love secrets. Is it our favorite Bollywood couple? Can you think of a better Bollywood couple? No. I like them over Nick Jonas and Brown. Well, that, that doesn't count. Nick Jonas isn't involved in Bollywood. But she is Bollywood, so technically that is a Bollywood couple. It's a Bollywood person with a non-Bollywood person. They are both Bollywood. There's Alia and Ranbir, but I like them more than uh, Alia and Ranbir together. I agree. But I also haven't seen Ali and Ranbir together very much. I wouldn't know. Hey, hey. Lest we forget. Hmm. Sekh Ali Khan. No. Sartaj. That's true. There's a lot of bigger his ones. wife. But the ones that we are most familiar with is... Tapika. That's true. Ranbir. We've watched a lot of their stuff. We think they're awesome. And if you don't, you suck. Yep. Here Maybe. we go. Time. Goo goos. Ranbir calls Patpat because he feels like I can never sit in one place. I'm Patpat, what's that? Patpat is like Patpat, 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 Patpat. Like all the time. Like, he's he he Yeah, like all huh. the time. Because she's always happy, 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 happy. I remember this so clearly. Okay, so I walked in around the same time as Ranbir, and he was wearing this. It was just, I don't even know what it was, but it was just flashy black and gold, and you just cracked up and you said, You look like a sofa. <laughs> That to him quite a few times. I mean, I have time <laughs> Do you ever talk to him about his clothes? Oh, me? Go on, guys. Really? Uh, he has walked in wearing a rabbit shirt and the. My wife would love this. Rabbit bow. He does. Uh, Great. Uh, uh, try very hard to seek my approval. But I think in That's life it's very important to be honest. honest. Yes. I, think, I love that. I love it. I know. I think any man who can be in a polka dotted striped black and white suit at I love at his look. night has no insecurity. Is that true? Do you have no insecurity? Seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> now that you point it out. <laughs> and he's not tonight. <laughs> not anytime soon. I mean, inherently. I love it too. A shy, shy and awkward is is how I describe my <laughs> middle name. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> my first and last name. Forget middle name. No, I'm not a shy person. And you know, um, oh, if, really? uh, if you were to interact with anybody who's known me ever since I was a kid, they'll tell you that, you know, the things are, the, things are just the way they used to be. There's too much uh, media out there that really doesn't concern itself with what they should, you know, about your love life and relationships and where did you go and what did you eat and what did you wear and who did you go with and who did you leave with and who did you end up with. And I fully understand uh, the fact that people like to know or want to know or need to know. But I've had my experience where uh, where you talked, where we talked about it, you know, and, and it completely backfired because it completely takes away from uh, anything else that you're trying to do. There can be so much frill uh, attached to uh, professional actors like um, it kind of sometimes gets difficult and you have to make it a point to focus on what's really important. So with all this stuff happening, you know, grand endorsements and you know, focus on one's personal relationships and all of this noise, um, I need to make it a point to not lose sight of the core. What lies at the core of what I actually do is the acting. You know, the only thing that really matters is what I'm doing between action and cut. I've been engaged off so many times. No. I've been married off, uh, you know, many, many times. I know that when it is the right time, I'll feel it. And it'll happen when it has to happen. It happened. That could have been longer. It could have been longer. And I found out it was far more about him, necessarily. The only thing we learned about her was putt-putt. That's... 
That's their relationship, probably, though. No. Well, <laughs> she, what about both of them? Yeah, but she's shy. She's not going to open up. And he could. Them. He knows her pretty darn well. But he also knows that she probably doesn't want any of that stuff. That's anymore. probably true. That's probably true. I'm in one of those relationships. Well, then, let, let's, <laughs> then five things that we found out about Render. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I agree with her because if there's anything that when I think about the name Render Singh, the word shy is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's such a shy, not shy wallflower at all. You know, Gully Boy pretty much depicts exactly his persona. Yeah, he's uh, not the performing side. That guy at the very beginning who's not confident and just when he's in a room, you don't know he's there. Yeah. Me. And when, when you reach a place of uh, uh, either the economic capacity to do it or simply people want to dress you, that's the direction you're going, isn't it? Oh, I would love it. <laughs> I guarantee. It. I would love it. Yep. I love. Well, I did. I loved his polka dot suit. I didn't love the, f the fact that he had matching polka dot shoes. Ah, oh. I didn't like that. Okay. But I loved both of the suits, the polka gotcha. dots. And so yeah, that's a good question. So stripes. Of the... Anybody that we've seen that has come out of uh, Indian cinema, uh -huh. whose fashion sense you Red would beer. want to most replicate? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Even above Shahid. Yeah. You just want his facial hair more. But that's that's like going out fashion. Like, I wouldn't normally dress like him just going out. Right. Like, going to events. Right. Having unique suits. Right. I like that. That's cool. But uh, his condom outfit that he has, I, I hate. <laughs> and so there's a bunch of that stuff I, I don't like, and I'm much more monotoned. As you guys know, I have all, 10 of the same shirts that are all solid colors. Did you see the one... Uh, thing that was put together, mm. the first photo, one of the photos was you with your key, mm -hmm. and the other phone, the other photo was, the, the caption said, we know what happened, where you got the key from, mm. and it was the picture from the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, I did, uh, I did like that he was like, he, um, he, he wants to get her approval. Yeah. I, I can relate. And that she's, and she's honest. Mm -hmm. like if she doesn't like it, she'll let him know. If you're in a good relationship, hopefully, yeah, you'd be honest one, about that. You'll you'll want to he, even if he knows she's gonna hate the outfit, he knows that and does it on purpose because she knows she hates it and he wants to mess with her. That's a whole different level of epic relationship. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you just want to mess with the other person, be like, yeah, this is, I look awesome, don't I? And no. Would you go so far as like we always? I've always said he reminds me a lot of his fashion sense and being out there. Comparable here in the United States would be Gaga. Would you ever wear a meat suit? No. Of course not. You know that about Gaga, right? She wore a dress that was made out of nothing but meat. Yeah, that's weird. No. I'm not that crazy. Yeah. I'm not even Billie Eilish crazy. No. I just like certain suits that are unique. Yeah. I don't like the plain black suits. I think it's boring and... So I always like the, the unique suits, but I love their relationship. I think it's adorable. It's very similar to mine. He's more outgoing than I am. Uh, but the fact that Topeka's shy, my wife is very shy. And so I can relate to where she wouldn't want any of her information right. out don't, there. Don't, don't, don't talk don't about Don't talk me. about my wife. My wife's perfect day at a party is just sinking into the back and watching. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Five things you learned about Corbin and Stephanie. I mean, just Corbin. No. I'm actually much shyer than Renvir. I wouldn't say I'm shy. It depends. I think, I think it depends. I think I'm classified as a introverted extrovert. extrovert. Right. Like, I don't like talking about myself in terms of, like, personal stuff. Some of you are absolutely shocked about what he does. I know. So. It's crazy. It actually, it's true. I don't like doing that. Like, I will not he just won't. go up to somebody and talk about my life. No, or even in a group setting, you would be the last oh. person to, to bring up anything about yourself. And if someone asked you some things about yourself, yeah. you talk about it for a moment and get off topic. Yeah. I'll, Sincerely. Uh, I'll deflect. Yeah. Um, that's just because I, I would not, one, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't like talking about myself because I, I much prefer other people. But yep. I, I'm also not shy. No. I think, and it wouldn't surprise me if... She calls him shy because when he first met her, he was smitten and was shy with her. That wouldn't surprise me. If her she, first impression of him when they met got to know each other. I thought she did. No, she's shy. 
Oh, I thought she said he was shy. No, no, she is shy. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't surprise no, me. He's not shy. You don't think he might have been with her? No. All right. I think he might have been with her. Look how he goes with Will Smith. <laughs> I don't think you can compare he, how he'd be around Will Smith. He outshines Will Smith. Smith. Yes. How do you even do that? I know, but that's that's totally like going to different. Robin Williams and being like, "Whoa, that guy's crazy." That's <laughs> that's true, but. It's totally different when you're talking about somebody that you're, like, in love with. No, yeah, well... You know? I don't I think don't, he's in love with Will Smith. I don't think he ever gets nervous around people. I think he gets nervous, but he definitely stays extroverted. Because he was nervous when he saw Will Smith. He said it in the elevator. He's like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna see Will Smith right, right but now. then he gets more well, extroverted. He launched, yes. He, he, that's what Robin would do. He launched and went, went crazy. But I think it wouldn't surprise me if around Topeka he was a little bit gobsmacked. Maybe. Yeah, well, I would hope he was. If he loves her and he's like, this, she's way out of my league. I hope she just looks at me. Is she? I think they're both in the same league. Do you? Yes. Aw. Yeah, they're both extremely attractive. <laughs>